you also, I would like to give you a solution of a gate question. This is a question from the topic of analysis of strain. Every year, there was very few questions or the, the, the topic of analysis of strain is a topic from where questions are asked very, very little. So very less number of questions were asked. In fact, before to 2016 paper or up to 2016, from past 31 years or 30 years of papers, we had one or two questions from analysis of strain. But particularly in 2017 examination, we got a question which was entirely different as compared to the previous type of questions which are asked in the topic of analysis of strain. So we'll discuss solution regarding that particular question. So we'll be having a clear idea of the solution once we complete the video. Let's read out the question. You can see the slide on the screen. It's given that a rectangular region in a solid is in a state of plane strain. The x, y coordinates of the corners of the undeformed rectangle as given by P 0, 0, Q 4, 0, R 4, 3 and S 0, 3. The rectangle is subjected to uniform strains epsilon xx as 0 0.001, epsilon yy 0 0.002, gamma xy is equal to 0 0.003. The deformed length of the elongated diagonal up to three decimal places in respect to units is. So you have to get in the respect to units here. Let's draw the diagram based upon the data given in the question. Here, this is a coordinate system, x-axis, y-axis. So we have the member. So the corners are given as 0, okay, so 0, 0, 4, 0. The next one is 4, 3. And the next one is 0, 3. So we have P, Q, R, S. So this is P, this is Q, this is R and this is S. So we have like this. If you read the question, it's given that the rectangle is subject to uniform strains of epsilon xx as 0 0.001. So epsilon xx is 0 0.001. Epsilon yy is given as 0 0.002. Gamma xy is given as <coughs> 0 0.003. The deformed length of the elongated diagonal up to three decimal places is. So they are asking deformed length of the or change in length of the diagonal. So due to these strains, what is the strain? So here they are asking for diagonal. So if you take the diagonal, diagonal is like this. So if they are asking change of length of the diagonal, that means they are concerned regarding normal strain of the diagonal. So as this particular diagonal is at an angle of theta, so in other way we can say they are asking for epsilon theta. Using epsilon theta we need to get the value of change of length afterwards. So epsilon theta formula is given as epsilon x plus epsilon y by 2 plus epsilon x minus epsilon y by 2 into cos 2 theta plus gamma x y by 2 sin 2 theta. We know the value of theta. Okay. Sin 2 theta, si, uh, cos 2 theta and sin 2 theta here. We know the value of theta. From that you can put the values here. Epsilon x, epsilon y by gamma x y is given. Now you will be getting epsilon theta here. Okay. Now epsilon theta is actually change in length by original length. So after getting epsilon theta, you get this value of change in length by taking like this, length into epsilon theta. You get the value of epsilon theta from here and then substitute in this equation and length, L is actually given by square root of this square plus this square, so 4 square plus 3 square which is nothing but 5. So the given is respect to units, so this length of the diagonal is also given respect to units. So if this square is of millimeters dimensions, this is also in millimeters here. Now you substitute L here will be getting delta L value in that respect to units here. So you will be getting this particular change in length as 5 point. I have done the calculation here. The answer will come as 5.5. In this question they are asking you the deformed length of the elongated diagonal. Sorry. So you will be evaluating the value of delta L. So final length is equal to original length plus delta L. So this becomes 5 plus 
delta L value here. So this will come out to be 5 point, the answer for this question is 5 point 0 1 4. Epsilon xx means if you are taking a small line like this here. So where it is going? Epsilon y means where it is actually going. Change in length by original length of this particular line. Understand? In the same way, epsilon theta means first of all in the deformed member you take a line or you take a very very small line of very very small thickness at an angle theta. So we are getting normal strain of the particular line here. So in this question, anyways, they are asking the final length of the deformed diagonal. So we'll find out the strain and using strain we'll get the final length here. So this is a process in which you have to go through. Uh, in which you will be going and you will be getting the answer. So from this I can say that like delta will come out to be 0 0.014. So do the calculations like this, you will be getting the answer. Thank you so much everyone.